I am Mirama Sultan, and I am privileged to pen down my life's journey as the daughter of the illustrious Suleiman the Magnificent. Born in 1522, I was destined for a life of intrigue, responsibility, and profound influence within the Ottoman Empire. My tale unfolds as the daughter of a great sultan, a woman of power in her own right, and a patroness of the arts and culture. From my earliest years, I was surrounded by the opulence and grandeur of the Ottoman court. As the apple of my father's eye, I received the best education that the empire had to offer. My thirst for knowledge was unquenchable, and I devoured books on various subjects, from literature and poetry to mathematics and astronomy. My passion for learning became a cornerstone of my identity. However, it wasn't just my intellect that defined me. Growing up in the imperial harem, I witnessed the intricate dynamics of power and politics within the Ottoman court. My mother, Harem Sultan, played a pivotal role in shaping my worldview. She was not just a beloved wife, but also a trusted advisor to my father. Her influence over him was evident, and she imparted her wisdom to me, teaching me the art of diplomacy and the importance of cunning in a world dominated by men. As I grew older, my role in the court became more pronounced. I was married to Rustam Pasha, a talented and influential statesman, and this union further solidified my position. Rustam and I shared a profound bond, both personally and politically. He became the Grand Vizier of the Ottoman Empire, and I, his devoted wife, actively participated in court affairs. Together, we navigated the intricate web of Ottoman politics, ensuring the stability and prosperity of the empire. Beyond the politics of the court, I dedicated myself to philanthropy and the arts. I was a fervent patroness of architecture, commissioning several magnificent buildings and mosques that still stand as a testament to my patronage. The Mihrimah Sultan Mosque in Istanbul, designed by the renowned architect Mimar Sinan, is a testament to my enduring legacy. Its elegant design and intricate details reflect my passion for blending spirituality with architectural beauty. I also supported scholars, poets and artists, fostering a vibrant cultural environment within the empire. My love for poetry led me to compose verses under the pseudonym Mihrima, expressing my thoughts and emotions through the written word. I believed that the arts had the power to transcend boundaries and unite people from diverse backgrounds, and I strive to promote this cultural harmony. Despite my accomplishments, my life was not without challenges. The Ottoman court was a place of constant intrigue and power struggles, and I had to navigate its treacherous waters with care. My father's death in 1566 marked a significant turning point. With my brother Selim ascending the throne as Selim the Seku, my influence waned, but I continued to support the empire in various capacities. In 1578, I passed away, leaving behind a legacy of intellectual pursuit, cultural enrichment, and political savvy. My life as Mihrima Sultan was a testament to the enduring power of women in the Ottoman Empire, and I hope that my story continues to inspire generations to come. My name may have faded with time, but the impact of my contributions lives on in the pages of history and in the architectural marvels that grace the skyline of Istanbul. If you liked my story, please leave us a comment down below telling us what are your thoughts. Share my story with your family and friends. Until next time, take good care of yourself. Until next, 